Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers, two exponential numbers. Actually, one of them could probably be considered two exponential because of the tower. We have a tower of fives with height three. So in other words, five to the power, five to the power five. Now, don't get me wrong. This does not mean five to the five and then to the five, because if we wanted to write that, we would write it as five to the power 25 or use parentheses, right? So some people find this ambiguous when we write something like a to the power b to the power c, they think it's ambiguous, but I don't think it's ambiguous because again, we this means a to the power b to the c. So b to the c is taken as the exponent when the base is a. Okay, for a, the exponent is b to the power c. Because if you wanted to write again a to the power b to the c, where a to the b is the base, then we would just write it as a to the power bc. Make sense? Okay, having said that, now let's talk about how we can compare these numbers. First of all, let me tell you that these numbers are very, very large numbers. How large they are? You're gonna see in a little bit when we manipulate these expressions and you're gonna see, you're gonna notice the power of powers, okay? Now, first of all, since we said that, okay, th that's the intended meaning of five to the power, five to the power five, we can kind of turn it into something nicer because we can evaluate five to the fifth power, can't we? It's not too hard, it's not super bad. You hopefully know at least five to the second, right? Or maybe even third or even fourth, who knows? But let's just write them down. Five to the first power is five itself. Five to the second power is five times five, which is 25. And then five to the third power can be written as five times five times five or five to the second times five, which is 125. And then finally, I mean one more step, five to the five to the five, five to the fourth is five, 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 five. You write the five four times because that's what the exponent means. And that just becomes, now, there's a couple of ways to approach it. You can think of it as 125 times five, which is 625. Or you can think of it as 25 times 25, which is 625. Hopefully you memorized the squares, right? Did you? or up to which number, let us know. So the next one is gonna be five to the fifth power, which is not always well known, but if you know five to the fourth power, you all you have to do is multiply by five. And if you need a shortcut for multiplying this by five, I'll just take this as 620, 600 plus 20 plus five. So 600 times five is 3000, and 25 times five is 125, or you can look at it as 20 times five equals 100, and five times five equals 25. You add them all up together, and you're gonna get 3,125 as the answer, which is five to the fifth power. Now, this is important because we're gonna go ahead and substitute this into our expression, okay? And then I'll tell you towards the end how many digits we have. I think I included the uh, values uh, from Wolfram Alpha, if I remember correctly, because you know what? I say Wolfram Alpha because Desmos cannot handle large numbers. If you ask ask Desmos, you can try this because I wasn't able to get a good answer. When I write something like five to the five to the five, come on, it's not a huge number. I mean, it's big, but Desmos says it's undefined. Come on, it's not undefined. It's well-defined, but Desmos can't do it. And that's okay. Every software, every tool has a shortcoming, right? Anyways, so this is five to the fifth power. And what I'm gonna do is take it up. So put the base and then now I'm gonna turn this into that. So I'm gonna use that information here. Again, uh, five to the fifth is the exponent, five is the base here, makes sense. So look at it that way. So you won't get it wrong. And now we're gonna replace five to the fifth power with 3,125. When you look at it like, when you have a tower, the tower doesn't look that big, does it? It doesn't look that big because, come on, we're just using three fives, but it's super powerful because of the power of powers again, which just becomes a gigantic number. How gigantic is it? We'll see, because we need to compare it to a power of 10, which is also nice because we do know how many digits this number has, right? Don't you? I mean, think about it this way. It's one times 10 to the power 2081. So it's basically one followed by 2081 zeros, which means 2082 digits. Be careful don't say 2,081 digit because if you think about it, like 10 to the power one has two digits. So it's one more than the exponent, makes sense? Or 10 to the power zero has one digit. Okay, cool. Now 
We're gonna focus on the 10, but the thing is, how can I compare? Now, our comparison is a little easier, right? How do I compare these two numbers? Obviously, we have an interesting scenario here because look, one of them has a smaller base, the other one has a larger base, but a smaller exponent. So which one is gonna beat? What do you think? A lot of times people say something that I don't wanna say because that will kind of give away the solution here. So anyways, you probably know that uh, when you compare something like six to the seven and seven to the six, you probably know what people say about these things, right? Which one matters more, the base or the exponent? That's what matters, makes sense? Anyways, so how do you compare these two things? Here's the critical part. We're gonna be looking at powers of five and 10, right? So we need to compare. Are we gonna evaluate these numbers? No way. I mean, I can write this out, but no way I'm gonna do this because this is gonna take forever. Not forever, but you get the idea. So here's what we're gonna do instead. Can I look at powers of five and powers of 10 so I can find a bridge, a way to compare those. So what is it gonna look like? Well, let's look at powers of five first. Five to the first is five, five to the second is 25, five to the third is, like I'm, I'm repeating this, I know this is a repeat, but I wanted to do it so we can kind of clearly uh, compare and maybe I'll do one more. That just as a bonus, five to the six power is gonna be 15,625. That's kind of easy. Let's think about it. This is this times five is 625 and 3,000 times that is 15,000. Anyways, you get the idea. Now I'm gonna look at powers of 10, which are, by the way, super easy to find. All you have to do is add that many zeros, 1,000, 10,000, this is 10 to the fourth, and then 10 to the fifth is 100,000, and you should definitely know this 10, to the six is one million. And 10 to the ninth is one billion, quadrillion, cantillion, quintillion, whatever, so on and so forth. So many, vigentillion. Okay, now, how do you kind of make these powers close to each other? Like, how do you compare them? Hmm. When you look at like something like 1,000, it's not really close to this number. Obviously not close to this either. If you look at the ratio, you're gonna find something like maybe two to three ratio or one to three ratio. So that's not a good way to do it. But if you look at 100 and 125, it's not super bad, is it? I mean, it's not ideal because they can only get that close, right? So we're gonna go with those. That is the trick to solving this problem. So here we go. As you can see clearly, five to the third power, because that's equal to 125, is greater than 10 to the second power, which is 100. Is that clear? Hopefully. This is the critical part. We're gonna go ahead and raise both sides to a magical, maybe a mathematical power, and that is gonna be 1041 or 1041st power. Why? Because that'll give you, on the 10, it'll give you 10 to the power 2082. But wait a minute, were we not trying to compare it to 10 to the power 2081? Yes, but you can't get to it because that's an odd number and you have 10 squared. You get the idea? And then of course, from the five, we're gonna get five to the power 3,123. Hmm, interesting. Now we're gonna do the following. These two numbers are definitely comparable, right? I mean, you can compare them, that's what I mean. So, and here's what we're gonna add to the picture. We know that 10 to the power 2082 is greater than 10 to the power 2081 because 2082 is greater, right? And of course, 5 to the power 3125 is greater than 5 to the power 3123 because, come on, you know the reason. Now we can take this and we can take that and using the transitive property, we can safely say that, okay, 5 to the power 3125 is greater than 10 to the power 2081, which implies that five to the power five to the power five is greater than 10 to the power 2081. So the bigger number, the winner is the number with three fives. That is the power of powers. As, as promised, I wanted to show you that. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the numerical values. Hopefully I did not forget to include them. Yes, I remember. Yay, obviously I didn't write 10 to the power 2081 because you already know what it is. But look at this number. Isn't that crazy? Like this is insane. This number has 2,185 digits, which is clearly much, much, much bigger than 10 to the power 2,081. And what was this number? This number was five to the five to the five. And 
This brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.